Hi guys, welcome to yet another episode for the most amazing youth show called The Breakout. And with me today, I have the most beautiful, amazing lady called Alice who has decided to venture in arts and crafts. Now, as you can see, the things that she sells. Actually, the funny thing near T, she started this business without any capital. Can you imagine? So without further ado, let's get to our interview today. So welcome, Alice. Thank you so much. Um, can you tell us more about yourself? Okay, thank you so much. Um, my names are Alice Sasati. Mimi ni mzaliwa wa hapa mjini Nakuru. Mimi okoka, Yesu Kristo ni buwana na mokozi wa mashangu. Na pia mimi ni mwana biyashara, na fanya biyashara ya Masai Market. That's how people call it. Kwa sababu ni kusanyiko wa vitu tofauti. So I'll call it Masai Market kwa sababu si product moja na deal na yo. I deal with the whole Masai Market things. Yeah. Ambayo nilianzia mwezi wa mwaka wa 2004, county ya Narok. Okay. Yeah, nikaajiriwa kwa Curio Shop ambao nilinisaidia ni sana kuwa na experience ya hii biashara. Uh, so from being employed you do only get experience ya hii biashara. Yeah, from being employed that's when nilipata experience ya this job mm -hmm. and that's how I met the people who produce these items each and every item kwa this business. Okay, so can you tell us a little bit more about the journey since uh, kwenye umesema ulikuwa employed, si ndio? Yeah. Uko ndiko kwenye ulijua easy stuff. Mm -hmm. So tell us a little bit about your journey from when you got employed, ukaacha sasa ukaamua kuanzisha hii biashara. Yeah. Uh, okay, yeah. Uh, from the time I was employed, um, being employed it takes a lot of your time because i had to work from monday to sunday mm. so i didn't have time to go to church i didn't have a free time so i always looked for an opportunity yeah cool, to have a free time or to do other things than just working mm. so that's when i started uh, knowing people the clients the customers that we sold these items to mm. most of them were outside the country in africa other african countries and even out in the European countries. So that's when I met people mm. through be, being employed in that shop. So I met them um, and uh, I thought of making friends with the customers. So the customers that came in going to the Masai Mara through the narrow county. So I made friends, I took contacts. Most of them we connected in Facebook. Mm. So I noticed um, because I worked there for five years. Mm. So at the time of the four, five years I worked there, mm. I made a lot of friends who are our customers there. So that's when I started having another mind of doing this business on my own. Okay, yeah. so uh, unaza tuambia about this business now. Chenye tunaona hapo hivi saizi. Yeah, from Narok Sasa, from the place I was employed, uh, I thought of doing it on my own. And uh, that's when I came back to Nakuru County, where I'm doing the business now. Mm -hmm. So I, le I left the place and uh, coming here, mm -hmm. I didn't have capital to start the business, but wow. I had a lot of friends. Okay. I had a lot of friends mm. who I, I had met when I was employed mm -hmm. in this business. Mm. And they were our customers in that shop. So they became my friends. And I thought that if they bought here, mm. they might need something more. Mm. Some more things when they are back to their to their country. Yeah. So when I came here in Akuru, I didn't start doing the business directly. Mm -hmm. I went to the friends that I had met in the shop mm -hmm. at Narok. So I started communicating with them and I asked them if they can, if, we, if they would like to have more items from our country. Mm. So that's when I, uh, they started buying one after another one. So that's when I started the business on my own through Facebook oh. without setting a shop and without a capital. Okay. Yeah. So business, when you come to Jiriwa, who Narok? Uh, is it any different from the kind of business now that you have here? Oh, uh, well, the, the business is same because mm -hmm. it's the Masai market things. Mm -hmm. But uh, the uh, difference is there are some items that 
I didn't see there mm. but right now I'm dealing with them. Wow, hawana but wewe uko na. Yeah, mimi niko nazo. Oh, na ndizo una supply now your customers. Yeah. Okay. Umesema you deal with even customers when you, you have clients when you work outside Kenya. Yeah, in, in fact, uh, 90% of my customers uh-huh. they are outside the country. So how do you guys communicate? Um, how do you deal? Uh, what I do, um, I have uh, I have a mixture of customers. I have customers who mm. sell there. They uh-huh. do business. They do the same business uh-huh. outside the country. So I'm their supplier. So I go to people who make each and every item. Uh-huh. I take it for a, a lower price, mm-hmm. and then I sell to them, and then they resell there. Ni outside Kenya ama outside Africa? Outside Africa. Outside Africa. Yeah. So mostly most of them ni wazungu. Yeah. So when ni kasa supply wao? I supply to them from oh. here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um so a little bit of the challenges they wanna face. Oh, there are Could challenges. Na people like that distance, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah but know. but before we get into the challenges una wa supply how do you get how did they get the the problem the product sorry uh, what i did when i was back there in uh, at narok mm. i used to take pictures of these items mm. each and every item mm. in fact i think the business i'm doing right now mm. uh, i think it it started in my heart because i love these items mm-hmm. so i used to take pictures of each and every item i see mm. but when i started taking the pictures i didn't know that they will help me right now oh. i just took pictures of each and every item mm. so when i came back here the pictures that i had mm. i had to send to the to the friends and the customers that i have outside the country so i used to send to each and every one the pictures mm-hmm. and then um, when they see something different or something they want mm-hmm. that's when they order oh. yeah so it's uh, they order and then you deliver i order they order and then they pay Uh, they pay fast they pay fast the full amount ama uh, deposit kwanza uh, right now they are paying full amounts uh-huh. because before mm. uh, about the challenges that i have mm. i met one customer i think it was three years ago mm-hmm. and he ordered some items worth um, a certain amount of money and he paid half of them price kama kama pesa ngapi it was 50000 shillings oh. so he paid 25,000 mm-hmm. and then um, he was to pay the balance after he delivered the after you the delivered items. the items to yeah he, after he, he got the items uh-huh. he would pay back the the balance uh-huh. but after he got the items he disappeared wa akaenda tu ibona pesa akaenda akiendanga mzungu alikuwa black american yeah but alisema tu ni mzungu kwa sababu si mkenya but outside africa yeah it was outside africa in the us in the us na kakatingi communication ni kakat communication um aka change emails phone numbers address what kila kitu aka change i think love that something happened i don't know but I, he just disappeared and from that time that's Hadi why waleo hajai Hadi waleo. no oh, so sorry. from that time that's when i discovered you no know, i must change them the mm. way of doing business mm-hmm. so from that time i started doing it if someone needs something from outside africa mm-hmm. you must pay all the whole the full amount mm-hmm. and then i deliver what they want 